like there's any true tanks from Team Liquid's side, so the benefit for them that they are not going to have to deal with a lot of armor stacking from Team Liquid's composition is it's mostly bruisers and squishies. Yeah, yeah. It's, but if you're on the three dragon point and then GG is forced to fight you, it puts a lot of pressure. Yeah, you get to see uh, the, the classics in chat. He's, he's tweeting at people and he's playing with a level of confidence you don't always see. Yon might be in trouble here though. Cut off by River, but he has four JG. Be able to assist him on the escape route. They want to oh, turn no. this fight, but it's a 3v2 and they're a little nice dodge by Killer Instinct on Yon. Is able to dodge out on the re-engage, but Core JJ still falls and Licorice is going to cut him off here with the all out. The rest of Team Liquid have to bail out Yon, but it looks like he's not getting bailed out. Maybe Piosha can look for resets. He's already on the Zaya looking for the Blade Caller, but Gore is going to collapse and it's a two on four for Team Liquid. It's really difficult for them to play out. Golden Guardians have the damage. Here comes NBA Pop Blossom. Does this one turn it around? Piosha is looking for more damage, but he gets knocked out by River and NBA it just doesn't have any more gas in the tank to fight it off. A little bit too long to kill 6A. They're able to finish off Yawn during that time period. And here with APA showing up during the backside of the fight, if they could find someone. But with the carries being fed as they are, it's looking really good here for Golden Guardians. It's potential jump onto Yawn. And he's locked up and he has no sums from before. Even the Killer Instinct shield, he should go down as 6A finds one more feather. Takes out the tier one turret as well. APA finding the collapse on Gori with Pyoshik. They're able to answer one for one. Summon and Licorice, are they gonna have Liquid, but they're losing the Rift Trail at the same time. I think Gori can TP down to this bot tower if he wants to. I'm not sure if they actually have enough damage to take down. Maybe he'll just save it anyway and give the tower because looking like he's toppling TP instead. Summon doesn't have flash. We need another leap strike to get out of harm's way. Using Counter-Strike to dodge a lot of the incoming damage. Still gets forced off by the explosive charge. And Team Liquid do find that tier one turret on the bottom side of the map. Yeah, the fact that they had overloaded the bot side during that Rift Herald take means that Gori actually goes TP top to finish that push off while Licorice goes for the reset. Nice little macro play there. Yeah, I mean, he wanted one tower, right? He couldn't get the bot one, so he just TP's top. <laughs> it's pretty simple. Harder it is actually to reset through this Golden Guardian team comp with the extra bit of, uh, not tankiness, but safety, I guess, of the Golden Guardian side with the Cassante in it instead. Fight immediately. Oh, wait a minute, this might be... I mean, he's really tanky. There's no way that Licorice goes down here, right? Like over the wall, surely. 10 HP. Oh, yeah. nice to flash reposition, and now he's isolated Pyoshik, and now a lot of damage coming out from Licorice's side, but he's still able to get out. Here's the reset from the Heartbreaker. Is it enough damage? One more Q, it is! And Gory's now here for the cleanup, but now he's a tanky Cassante. Pop Blossom gonna buy some space. Can he look for another reset? No! Because River is there for the re-engage and the counter reinforcements. APA, nice two-man roof. Can he find at least one more damage down? But Gory stays alive as River cleans him up. Buys time for Golden Guardians to collapse and find that kill. Summon doesn't have flash, so he can't really threaten Gory here. And River's just gonna press the assault here. Glacial Prison right on top of him. Leap Strike gets away to safety. He's gonna have to wait for Pioshik to come on in. Turret is still under fire as Dixay is laying waste to the tier two tower in the mid lane. But a four TP from APA. Do they spot this TP? I don't think they have yet. APA would have to wait for Huhi, and now Huhi tries to dash on over to safety. Battle Dance and Grand Entrance exposed. APA looking for the flash, but that's a flash out of Gori in response. Stixay joins the fight on over as Pioshik flashing forward. He just wants the first reset, and now he is the recon. Can he look for a grand entrance? Gets in range, another reset. Looking for Stixay. He's forced to use the Featherstorm as he goes into the air. He gets out alive. A lot of pressure in the way of Team Liquid. Absorbing pressure well there. Uh, Golden Guardians went a bit too greedy, I would say. Now Licorice is stuck under the bot lane tower, but he has the TP with Gori here, so... All out from Licorice, knowing that Summon still doesn't have Flash. Nice knock from the Q3. Gori has the damage. The Counter-Strike can give him a little bit more relief, and he gets out alive! And Yawn was looking for the Killer Instinct, but does not manage to find the Void Seeker for the play. Well, they might not be done chasing the play yet. Pioshik has the inside track, potentially, through the river here. He spotted Flash oh. from poor JJ, doesn't find the mark. Pioshik. Thinking about disengaging this one. The rest of Golden Guardians are... Uh -oh. No flash no ult on Pioshik. Yeah, I don't think he can get out of this one. He's going to get stunned up by River and who he can just look for the quickness into the charm. Knocking him up, looking for Yawn instead. That's oh. the target, the Black Cone! He's forced to use the Killer Instinct, but Gori jumps right on back. And it's not enough to save Yawn as Gori finds the reset again and jumps to safety. The rest of Golden Guardians have this fight on their own turn. Nice knock up from Huhi. Saves Gori again. Here comes APA, three-man pop blossom, but where's the damage? Golden Guardians have tons in supply, and they have turned this whole series around with that fight. Golden Guardians looking like they might find their first win in the series, up seven and a half thousand gold now. And then that ultimate onto Gori, he probably gets his first reset on Tristana. Maybe it ends up a little bit closer when APA shows up as well. 
With the Tristana though, I, I do think they can break the top uh, in the tower. I think they just need to commit. Oh, nice dodge from APA. He has the pop blossom and gets Buster shotted out to safety. APA managing to survive that encounter. And broke his ankles there, making him ult after the wrong target. Ends up with his ultimate on top of the rest of the Golden Guardians. But possible to deny the, the soul condition for TL. Right, and it's coming up in 30 seconds, but they say go and they find Kyoshi, forcing him to flash. APA low on HP as he actually gets taken out. Golden Guardians being able to press this assault on further. Core JJ is the next target on the line. No flash, but Kyoshi finds the first uh -oh. reset onto Huhi. Looking for the grand entrance, but gets pushed out. Can he find another one on the Gory? Now he's the Tristan. Maybe he can do some major damage. Yon finds the killer instinct as well into Six A. And Team Liquid within the defenses of their base. They have found a way to withstand the pressure of Golden Guardians, and they might just have the numbers to look for that dragon you were talking about, Treat. Yeah, once again, Golden Guardians a bit too eager to end this game. I think they can play it a bit safer and just get the tower and get out, but they're looking their way into the Baron buff. But Kyoshi and Core JJ are going to take the risk. And no one is there really to punish. 2,000 HP, it's burned instantly by Golden Guardians. Now Team Liquid have to get out. Core JJ might just sack his life to make sure the rest of everyone can get out. Huge pop blossom. Can they Corey's get dead. Corey, GA is popped. Yon onto the back lane. He fights Stick Save. Finds his moment. And Yon is now surrounded by Licorice, but he can rejoin with the rest of the fight. Kyoshik is still looking for resets. Summon saves Yon with the counter strike. Golden Guardians, no way. How does this keep happening? Team Liquid being able to turn things on their head still alive he would already use the flash but team liquid despite losing the baron found multiple members in this fight as gordon tp's right back in someone looking for the counter strike yawn is still low so he has to be careful there's a looming flank Ooh, in the world flash. who he looking for the flash grand entrance running to pioshi can he not find the reset he gets stuck oh the guardians take out the light that team or jj only using the text flash the rest of golden guardians pushing their way and sieging the bottom inhibitor tower APA getting caught up here as the rest of Golden Guardians just making the siege happen. I really want Golden Guardians just to get the dragon, to get, to get, <laughs> make it get rid of it and just <laughs> make sure that TL just can't randomly win the fight in the base and get soul. I think that's it's gonna be pretty big, but GG, they're still very confident they're gonna run straight forward. <laughs> Running straight forward again, this time at least not jumping in, just letting some of the cannon creeps do the work on the bot inhibitor. And Licorice is zoning off Summit, making sure that he doesn't have an easy angle. They find poor JJ, knowing that he is a sitting duck here. Gets one engage off and tries to walk away. They're able to bully River off, but it opens the window for the inhibitor to be taken. And Treats, I don't know if you're in Golden Guard. Uh, with the Dragon as well. I think they're just going to repeat it on top side. Look for a triple inhib uh, kind of uh, setup here. It's behind Golden Guardian. So they're pushing up mid lane is very, very difficult uh, on the side of GG. You called it. You're, they're pinging it right now. Now, is it a double TP? And oh, APA is already engaging onto the front line. Yawn is able to find the back line as well with the killer instinct. But who he and 6A are still alive. And Yawn falls. And Pioshik has nowhere to go for resets. He finds one on Degori. And he's able to disengage it well. But now Summit has to find the kills and find the cleanup. But this just seems unwinnable for Team Liquid. Golden Guardians able to do away with four members. And with the Nexus in their sights, they're ready to take game three. Golden Guardians bounce back big in game three. Felt like Team Liquid might have been headed for a sweep, but they're not done yet. Not ready to give up on the dream of Huhi making his fifth straight finals. And 7-0-15 for River. What a monster game from him. He was everywhere. He played every fight really perfect. Uh, good bounce back game from Golden Guardians. They showed at least patience in the end and, and had a really clean, uh, clean ending. Golden Guardians. Taking game three 